Marion, where are you hiding? Why do you pretend to care? You're the only one who knows very well that I'm in the hospital. Oh, so you got a little burn and still need to go to the hospital. How pathetic. How long are you going to leave your stuff lying around your room like a pigsty? If you don't clean it up soon, I'm going to throw it out the window like garbage. You know I can't come and get my stuff right now. I'm in the hospital recovering from your attack. Why are you harassing me with this when you know I'm not in any condition to do anything about it? Because your stuff is cluttering up the house. If you're going to move out of the house, then please do it as quickly as possible. I'm sorry, but I can't move out immediately. I need some time to find a new place to live that's affordable and safe. If possible, I'd like to stay there a little longer until I heal. I don't want to move out in this state. You're joking, right? Are you really planning to keep living here after what happened? I think it's time you move out. I'm fed up with this situation. How many times do I have to tell you this? We're happy with your brother daily living with us. He's very smart and successful. And he has a wonderful job with a generous income. We really don't care about you at all. In fact, we want you gone as soon as possible. I know that you want me gone, but what you did was totally insane, Mom. I can't believe you poured boiling water all over my back. That's not the kind of thing you should be doing to your daughter. In fact, it's the kind of thing that you shouldn't be doing to anyone. What you did to me was really unforgivable. I also can't believe that Daly terminated my health insurance and took the money. The hospital fees are really exorbitant because I don't have any health insurance right now. I had to do that. I really had no other choice. I wanted you to move out a long time ago, but you decided not to. I only poured boiling water all over you so that you would move out. You must be insane. You didn't have to do that. You should have talked to me about it, and I would have thought about moving out. Also, you keep on asking me to move out, but you don't really have the right to do that. That house was given to me and Daly as inheritance when Dad passed away. Why do I have to be the one that gets kicked out? That's my house as well, you know? I also have a lot of precious memories with Dad in that house. Yeah. This is why I hate you, Marion. You love Dad so much, but you never seem to like me that much. You're also dumb and pretty ugly. I really want you out of the house. I can't stand looking at your stupid face anymore. I really loved Dad because he would treat me like a normal human being. All you ever did was compare me to Daly. You always made fun of me and insulted me for not being as good as him. Dad would love and care for me no matter what. He didn't compare me to anyone. He respected me for who I was. That's why I preferred being with him much more than being with you. Yeah, I really don't care about any of that now. Your dad that loved you so much is no longer here with us. There is no need for you to stay in this house any longer now that he's gone, right? I really want to live in this house with just Daly. There is no place for you here. How could you say that to me? I'm still your daughter. I really wish you weren't my daughter. I really haven't liked you since a long time ago, but I hate you right now. You're an adult, but you can't even find a job. How long have you been unemployed for now? How much longer are you planning to depend on me? I don't want to have to babysit you forever. What are you talking about? I'm not unemployed. I work very hard at my job every single day. Stop making up lies like that. All you do is stay in your room all day. You barely ever leave your room during the day. If you're just going to be lazy in your room every single day, there's no need for you to live here. You can have exactly the same lifestyle anywhere else. That's why I'm asking you to move out. Please just hurry and get the hell out of here. If you don't, I'm going to have to pour boiling water all over you again. I really don't want to have to do that again to you. How can you treat me like this, mom? Do you really hate me that much? I might have been a little clumsy and dumb growing up. I still tried my best to impress you. I wanted you to love me. I'm your daughter. Please stop talking about things like that. It's just a huge waste of time. I don't have the time to just chat. Do you care what happens to me? Do you even see me as your daughter at all? Not really. 
I only gave birth to you because Daly was such a successful child. I thought that you would be similar to him. Unfortunately for me, you turned out to be a total failure. I never would have given birth to you if I knew you would turn out like this. I wish I could go back in time and decide not to have a second child. I'm just so shocked to hear that from you. I'm speechless. I really can't believe that you're my mom. How could you say all those horrendous things to me? You really need to shut up. You don't even understand how difficult it is to be a mom. It's really stressful being the mom of a failed child like you. You have no idea how I feel at all. So you have no right to accuse me of anything. Fine. That's it. I'm tired of trying to talk to you. I'm just going to give up if I'm hated by you this much. I'm going to stop trying to get you to accept and love me. I have realized that it's completely hopeless. You're never going to change. So you finally decided to move out then? Thank you so much. It's a huge weight off my shoulders. It feels so good to finally be free from you. This is the happiest I've felt in a long time. Hey, Marion. How have you been doing? Did you miss me? What do you want from me, Mom? I don't want to talk to you. Why are you being so cold towards me? We haven't talked in like five months. I'm just a little shocked to be receiving a text from you. I thought that I would never have to see or talk to you ever again. What do you want from me all of a sudden? Why did you text me? Get straight to the point. I really don't have that much time. I can't believe you're talking like this to your own mom. How rude of you. I heard some rumors that you're earning a pretty nice salary these days. Is that really true? You finally managed to find a job. Who did you hear all of this from? I heard it from your uncle Roman. He told me that you were working really hard these days. According to him, you've been really successful lately. So it was uncle Roman that told you about all this? It makes sense because I've been asking him to do some work for me. He's a tax accountant after all. Wait, hold on a minute. Why would you need help from a tax accountant? What kind of job do you have? I still work the same job as I always have. I work from home as a stock trader and stock portfolio manager. A stock trader? Yeah, I trade stocks. And I also give advice to people on what stocks they should buy. I do this as a freelancer. So I've been asking Uncle Roman to help out with the taxes. The process is really confusing and I was struggling to do it by myself. That's when I remembered that Uncle Roman was a tax advisor. I had no idea about any of this. Just how much are you earning right now? I think I'm earning around 100,000 a year. I don't really want to tell anyone about it because it's not that much. I think I can make a lot more in the near future. Are you seriously earning that much? So you're earning around $8,000 a month? Yeah, around that. It fluctuates depending on how much time I've been working though. You're only earning this much because I kicked you out of the house, right? You should be grateful to me. What are you talking about? You decided to start working hard because I kicked you out of the house, right? Your current success is all due to what I did to you. I'm really glad I managed to help you out like this. Would you be able to pay me back for what I did to you? How about you start by moving back in with us? Move back in with you? You're joking, right? Why would I ever want to move back in with someone like you? I've never felt grateful for you a single time in my life. Have you already forgotten how you kicked me out of the house? What you did to me was unacceptable. I am never going to forgive you for that. You're still angry about that. It happened such a long time ago. I think it's about time you forgave me for that. I am sorry for pouring the boiling water all over you. I was really stressed out at the time, and I couldn't help myself. Now that I think about it, I did go a little too far. I would love for you to move back in with us. I promise the same thing will never happen again. You have lots of money now, right? I have no intention of moving back in with you. I've already built my own house. Wait, what did you just say? You have your own house now? Yeah, I have my own house. I had it built so it would be comfortable for me to both live and work from. You didn't just build a house for yourself, did you? Are you married now? Yeah, I got married a little while ago. I had a boyfriend that was planning to marry me once I moved out from your house. We decided to get married a few weeks after you kicked me out. We also decided to get a house built for the two of us. I'm really surprised to hear that, Marion. 
You really are my child, aren't you? I'm really proud of you. The house must be pretty big, right? We're going to move in with you guys. Let's all live together as one big family. What the hell are you saying? Do you really think that I would just say yes to you and Daily moving in with us? You're going to let us move in with you, right? We're your family after all. We have every right to live with you. What happened to the house that dad left for us? The house that you kicked me out of by pouring boiling water all over me. The house is no longer our property. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? Daily became addicted to gambling and managed to get us into a huge amount of debt. He had to sell the house so he could return the money he borrowed. I had no idea he was a gambling addict. I was shocked when he told me how much debt he was in. That's shocking to hear. I expected better from Daly. That isn't even everything. Daly also stole some money from his company so he could keep on gambling. He was fired from his company immediately. It was such a famous company with such great salaries. Yeah, he completely deserves to get fired for that. I still can't believe that you guys sold off the house without even consulting me. That's what I'm shocked about the most. He's also being fined $500,000 from his company for stealing their money and ruining the company's reputation. He had no choice but to sell the house and try to pay the fine. Okay, it's all starting to make sense now. I'm so disappointed in him. The problem is that selling the house wasn't enough. He still owes the company around $200,000. We really need you to help us out. Both me and Daly don't have any money or time. We also don't have a job either. Can you help us out? We're family after all. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do to help you guys out. What are you talking about? There's so many things you can do for us. You can start by letting us move into your house. We really need a place to live. I also want you to start giving us some financial support. We both need some cash to pay for our living expenses. A couple of hundred dollars will be enough for now. We can talk about increasing it a little later on. Are you seriously asking me to support you guys financially? There's no way that is happening. Neither of you seemed to care about me when we were living together. There's absolutely no reason for me to help you guys out. We're family. That's enough of a reason to help us out. You also received some inheritance money from dad, right? Me and Daly already used up all the inheritance money that we received. Please, give us some of the inheritance money. Dad left it to us in case of emergencies. Now is the time to use it. I'm not giving you my portion of the inheritance money. I'm really planning to save it for when I need the money. It's not my fault that both you and Daly spent it already. I spent a small portion of it to build a nice doghouse for my dog in our garden. The rest I'm planning to save up for when I really need it. You spent your inheritance money on a doghouse? What a waste. You should be giving that money to help us out. Actually, I really love my dog, so it's definitely worth the money. He's much more like a family member to me than you guys are. Also, you need to stop judging me for what I spend the inheritance money on. You spent all of it on high brand bags and clothes that you barely even wear. That's a huge waste of money. I'm guessing that Daly decided to spend it all on gambling too. I'm very content with the way I spent a small portion of my inheritance money. The doghouse is really spacious and looks very nice. Do you still have any complaints? Of course I have complaints. That money would have been better spent by me and Daly. We really need that money right now. You really are the worst kind of person. I'm sorry, what did you just say to me? I said you're the worst. How could you treat your own family like this? I should be the one saying that to you guys. You insulted me my entire life while growing up. In the end, you poured boiling water all over me and kicked me out of the house that dad gave to me. Daly canceled my health insurance without me knowing and stole the money that was saved from it. I was told that my health insurance didn't exist when I went to the hospital after you poured boiling water over me. I had to pay the full fee to the hospital because of that. I absolutely hate you both from the bottom of my heart. You both treated me like I wasn't part of the family. Now. I'm going to take revenge for that and watch you guys suffer. I'm not going to offer any help to either of you. You don't deserve any help from me. I already told you I was really stressed out at the time. I'm sorry for pouring the boiling water over you. Being a mom can be really stressful at times. I'm sure you'll understand when you have your own child. Being stressed out doesn't excuse what you did to me. 
I am never going to turn out to be a mom like you, so I won't ever understand your feelings. Please stop trying to ask me for help. You guys really need to figure this out for yourselves. There's no point in trying to stop us because we're really desperate. We're going to get all our belongings together and start getting ready to move to your place. We will finish moving in by the end of the day. I will report you both to the police if you even step foot on my property. Wait, what? Why would you get the police involved? You can try your luck if you really want to. I'm not giving you permission to enter my house. So it's trespassing if you do enter. The police will arrest you as soon as you step inside the house. How could you do this to us? We're supposed to be family, aren't we? I'm your mom. I was the one that gave birth to you. You should be looking after me until the day I die. I was the one that raised you after all. Even if you can't allow Daly to move in with you guys, you need to at least let me move in with you. It's the rule of society to look after your parents once they start getting old. Shut your mouth, mom. You never raised me at all. Dad was the only one that ever cared for me. I'm finally enjoying my life now that you're not part of it. I have a wonderful husband that loves me and I own my house that I built with my own money. I don't need you to come back into my life to ruin it. I want to maintain my current happy life. You guys are definitely not going to be moving in with me. I finally realized that you were the one making my entire life so miserable. I never want to have to talk to you or see you ever again. My mom turned a deaf ear to the warnings that I gave her. She brushed me off entirely and resolved to force her way into my house with daily. I had no alternative but to call the police as they invaded my home without my permission. The police showed up about 10 minutes after I rang them and apprehended both my mom and Daly without any hassle. My mom was in disbelief that she was getting arrested and started bickering with the police. She implored them to let her go and only arrest Daly instead. Daly was stunned by what she had said to the police and they began to have a colossal argument right then and there. They severed their bond with each other while being handcuffed and taken away. Daly also faced two extra charges after he was arrested. The first charge was for embezzling his company's funds and using them to gamble. The second charge was for canceling my health insurance behind my back and pocketing the money that I paid for it. He had to spend some time behind bars and also serve a few years of probation. After getting out of jail, he managed to overcome his gambling addiction and start his life anew. He successfully landed a job at a small firm in the rural area and is currently working hard to repay all his debt. On the other hand, my mom's life is going downhill. She was deserted by both of her children and she became utterly isolated. She also had nowhere to stay, so she had to rent a cramped old flat on the edge of the city. She works several low-paying jobs to barely make ends meet these days. She texted me every now and then, begging me to forgive her and to let her stay with me. However, she was getting on my nerves, so I blocked her number and cut off all contact with her for good. I hope she spends the rest of her days regretting how horribly she treated me. Recently, I discovered that I'm expecting a baby and that I was going to be a mother soon. I vowed to myself that I would never turn out like my mom and that I would cherish and nurture my child always. My mom showed me a perfect example of how not to raise a child. I will use everything that I went through as a lesson to become the best mom I can be.